So it's a real earthy and organic element. There's also a um, scientific and mechanical process, and I think it's a really neat way to bring both sides of your mind together. And I think that's what people enjoy the most out of working with clay. How is a clay class different from a painting or a drawing or even a photography class? Yeah, for sure, all of those are hands-on, but all in their own way. This one is definitely the most messy out of all of those choices that you mentioned. Um, in that you're working with mud, right? You're working with clay. I mean, it washes out, you clean up and leave, but it's a messy class. We also have to time the projects very carefully so that when the class is done, you could take your final project and leave. So we have to time making the project, having it dry, firing it, glazing, firing again, so that you're walking out um, after the first week, you're walking out each week with something that you could take with you and um, you don't have to return at the end or after the class is over. So there's a process consideration um, with it and then there's a, a messy consideration with it. And here you'll see, like for example right here, where one coil ended and the next one started. And they just go right up end to end, like butted up against each other and then you just start the next one. And then um, once this is on the tray, you start building up on top. I think everybody has that first memory of working with Play-Doh or even Silly Putty and you're just free form making shapes and rolling out coils and making tiny cups or bowls or figurines or even in a uh, drawing class, you're taking your kneaded eraser and making a little person or a little animal. Everybody. Um, Everybody has that artist in them as a child and you're making something fun without an expectation, without that judgment. I try to create that atmosphere in this classroom too. It takes me back to, to being a kid every time I come into a classroom and every time I walk into an art studio. You have to stop judging yourself, stop judging your work and appreciate your progress as you're going. You do have to stop back and think critically if this is working the way you want it to or not, but maybe not not with that aspect of judgment. Am I going to be able to get rid of it? Try it, um, pick it up and gently twist it like a twisted breadstick, yeah. Clay is one of the more organic elements of, of all of the classes that Farmington offers, that all of your art classes could offer, and that you're working with something directly from the earth. It has been cleaned up and processed a little bit. You don't have sticks and you don't have rocks in this clay, but it is essentially mud. Um, it's interesting that there is a lot of science involved in working with clay and you're understanding the heat temperatures, the chemical transformations of the glazes, you're understanding the shrinkage rates of clay as it dries as well as when it's fired. If you're making something functional or you're trying to fit pieces together, all of that is a big consideration. So although it's a real earthy and organic element, there's also a um, scientific and mechanical process. And I think it's a really neat way to bring both sides of your mind together. And I think that's what people enjoy the most out of working with clay. I always enjoy looking at ceramics when I go to art fairs and I thought it would be really cool to learn how to make them. It's very important that the city have art classes, that we do things to develop um, our citizens culturally, and that we keep everything, you know, keeping my dollars and my time here in Farmington where I live is better than traveling out to Ann Arbor. Pick it up and twist it like a breadstick very gently. And then that kind of trains the clay to do something else. Now it won't have a flat size. This is introduction to ceramics for adults and it's every Tuesday night here at the Stable Studios in Farmington Hills and um, it's a class designed to um, learn a few techniques with clay, make a few projects that you're proud of, experiment a little bit, maybe make some functional things and things you could use, a butter dish you could use at Thanksgiving or a bread bowl or a coffee mug. Um, maybe things you just look at, but maybe not necessarily use, like a cool sculpture, an animal, a figurine, something cool to look at. Maybe push the envelope, envelope a little bit and um, have you experiment and try new things.